I'm Daphne Gray, and this is your 10 News Tuesday update. Roanoke City is dedicating their latest pedestrian campaign to school zone safety. Across the nation, safe kids found in the last decade, unsafe street crossing was observed by about 80% of students, a 13% increase in pedestrians' death for 12 to 19-year-olds, and an average of five teen pedestrians killed every week. Here at home, Roanoke police say that things aren't bad at all, but they still want you to slow down and look around. The campaign runs through May 27th. For more information on this pedestrian and safety campaign, head to our website at WSLS.com. On Monday, Lynchburg city leaders honored organizations and individuals during the State of the City Address. Lynchburg Mayor Mary Jane Dolan presented multiple mayor's awards. One went to Centra's emergency department employees for their work on the front lines during the pandemic. Also during the State of the City, Mayor Dolan called the Lynchburg's economy robust, strong, and resilient. During the address, the leaders also spoke about $14.3 million worth of federal relief money used to help citizens and local businesses survive the pandemic. A Virginia man is hiking more than 2,000 miles on the Appalachian Trail to raise money and awareness for suicide prevention. Tin Uncafer has always wanted to make the trek, but this trip is extra special to him because of one family. His friend's 15-year-old daughter died from suicide. He has hiked nearly 500 miles so far. You can follow Tim's hike at forelizabeth.org. Remember, you can always get your news, weather, and sports on the go with WSLS.com and the 10 News app. I'm Jeff. Gray, 10 News, working for you.